Hi, my name is Catherine Went with Ciscon and thanks for taking a moment of your time. Today I wanted to offer you four questions, four topics for you to consider when you're looking for an IT company. Uh, you know, I remember back in the 80s when our customers were buying their very first computers and were they expensive. It was a time when they knew computers would be changing how they run their business and it really did. And here we are now where I can't think of any customer any of our customer of ours, any business where computers aren't an integral part of running the business. So how we handle our computers are very important and I wanted to give you four topics to um, bring to anyone you're interviewing or considering for IT support. So the first one is break fix or proactive. So a couple little points you want to find out about this. Uh, if you wait to get your car maintenance done until things are broken, so basically you're not doing any maintenance, when you bring the car in, Sure enough, those repairs are probably gonna be more expensive because you didn't take care of the car. Computers are very similar. If you wait till they break, it actually is probably going to take more time and more money to get those fixed than if you had done maintenance along the way. Very similar. Proactive would mean proactively monitoring, um, automatic patch management, antivirus, anti-spam, backups, a plan for disaster recovery, and of course the firewall. So that would be one topic. Oh, this is a good one. So how about answering the phone? Well, we just did a client survey and we asked our clients along with eight other items, would answering the phones live be considered something that's very important to them or not very important? Overwhelmingly, live phone answering during the workday was very important. In fact, a couple of our clients double circled it, circled it just to make sure that we got it. <laughs> Uh, the third one, what will it cost? It's a great question. Look at the whole package that you are um, considering. Sometimes going the lower cost means you're going to have a lot of extras and out-of-pocket things throughout the year as you uh, call in for support or have other things that you need done. You know, um, when you go with the lower price and, and you have extras that you're going to be paying for, you may find some frustration in getting those extra bills. And more importantly, you might get to the end of the year and you might not have saved very much at all in a difference, although you've certainly had more frustration. Um, you know, again, one of the things that we see is when people take that lower price option, they'll try to fix things on their own. They'll put, on with, up, put up with them a little bit longer. By the time they call us, they're really frustrated and it might take us longer to fix as well. The last one, how much experience does that company have? You know. Sometimes people don't know what they don't know. It looks easy, it looks simple. You just do this and this. But you might find out that without that experience, you spent more time than you expected, more money than you expected, and you might have been down longer than you expected. Experience matters. Uh, we have a complex computer world out there. Computers, networks, cloud access, uh, hackers, ransomware, recovering a server. All of these things require an experienced network technician. So there are a couple of points for you to consider if you are looking at IT companies. And of course, if you have any questions, we'd be happy to talk with you as well. For now, I hope you have a great rest of your week.